Hello everybody, it's Ishmael and your priest and I welcome you to today's video. Allow me to assure you that it is hitting them so hard. You might sit and you might think that whenever, some way, somehow things don't work out in your life, they are happy, they are rejoicing. Let me assure you, not always. You know, I think... There is something common with Christians. I've noticed that it is like that. I think we do it automatically so. What is it that we do automatically so? Whenever maybe in a family someone was about to die, but they survive, what do we usually say? We celebrate and say, ha, ah, they didn't conquer us. Yeah, they thought we were going to die. You see, the fact that they did hit a strike, they did hit a punch, you, uh, someone almost fell or you almost died, it no longer matters. What matters is their main goal, their main aim. So that's why today I'm giving you this word. At the end, they never aimed at beating you and then you be, go down and you get kicked back up and then they be like, yeah, but we beat you. No, they wanted you to bring you down for good. That is why whenever you are not dying, yes, they might have succeeded in making you sick. They might have made, succeeded in making you maybe get a car accident, may have succeeded in making you have some troubles a bit. But the fact that it never brought you down, it is still a problem. It still bothers them. You get what I'm saying? That is why at the end of the day, I want to say, those that were expecting you to die, that were expecting your things to die out, they are in for a huge disappointment. Anything, any aim which the enemies they are having over your life, it will not come to pass. The aim of the brothers of Joseph, it was to kill him. It was to get rid of him. It was like normally never ever to see him again. And never ever get to have him as a ruler over them. But then in the future, they learned that now we are bowing to him. Something which they were trying to avoid by all means. It finally happened. And I say, they will not kill your dream in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and see you next time.